morning, it's Jeremy. Bonjour, bon dia, buenos dias. It's Wednesday, March the 10th. I'm just down at Harbour Front. And uh, Toronto's out of a sort of a Orwellian lockdown. We're into the gray zone, so I'm able to move around. Uh, so I wanted to come down to Harbour Front and uh, test out. I've been working with Open Plotter and I've got the sensors working. So today, what I want to look at is I want to look at the uh, AIS, the GPS, and the sensors. It's a setup here. So what we've got is, um, here's my GPS unit. It's got a Trimble uh, Lassen IQ receiver, 12 channel. There's the antenna up there. This is a, um, a hub, because I've got a bunch of USB devices. There's the RTL for the AIS with a one meter antenna. And this is the second RTL. Uh, Paul in British Columbia asked me if I could receive the marine weather as well as AIS. So I'm gonna plug that in in a minute and see if that uh, works. Uh, here we have Open Plotter, uh, and I'm running Open CPN, and you can see that uh, that's the red icon there. That's where I am, right down on the bottom of Spadina. There's an IAS contact over there. The seaplane base. If I hang like that, there it is. That's the uh, MSI, and this is the um, <clears throat> the GY91 uh, board, which contains an accelerometer a gyroscope and a magnetometer, a pressure indicator and a temperature sensor. And you can see over here, uh, the various uh, menus there. I can rotate the compass moves, the pitch up and down and the roll. So that's working quite well. The temperature on this sensor works. Unfortunately, the pressure, for some reason, it's locked at its lowest value of 300 millibars. And I'm, I'm not too sure if the sensor's gone. I tried it with Arduino and it was pegged at the lowest, uh, value as well so it may not be working so anyways that's the setup and uh, so I've got the AIS the GPS and all the sensors working so that's great so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the second RTL see if I can get marine weather and have both RTLs working I'm going to use a spare there's two uh, USB ports on the Pi on the um, Pi top so I don't want to put everything on one port I don't want to blow the port in terms of power drain so I'm going to put it on the second port so I'm going to turn this off do that and see if it works okay so I've got the second uh, RTL plugged in and I've got GQRX running on Toronto marine weather at 162.4 megahertz you can't hear it because there's no speaker on the um, uh, pie top the GQRX takes up a fair amount of horsepower so I don't think it's working at its full capacity anyways I guess what I wanted to show is that the second USB works and you can still see I have the uh, uh, I have the GPS is still working and the AIS is still working. You can look in um, this menu here, Open Plotter, SDR VHF. Yeah, and there you can see the various assignments here. You can see that device zero is the first RTL, that's used for the AIS, and the second device one is used for the GQRX. So anyways, that's, uh, those are my results for today.